we will be covering virtual bridge here and we will create a new virtual bridge we have already seen that how the basic configuration is done in proxmox if you go back here to the proxmox node we are in the single node right now in a data center where only one proxmox node is there and in that proxmox node we were at the networking and we saw that by default there was one virtual bridge created if you click here on top you will see these three options as i mentioned that proxmox is using the linux networking stack this is also one of the options you can use between them this is for the bigger networks so we will not be covering that in this particular section so we'll be only talking about linux bridge linux bond and linux vlan so first of all let us talk about linux bridge so first bridge that you have already seen this is called linux bridge which is vmbr0 by default its name was there we can click here and create a new linux bridge you can give it, it an ip address and here you can bridge it to the physical port right now there is no physical port only one port is available and at one time you can connect one virtual bridge to only one port of course you can virtually connect it with this port again but right now if i copy this one here and if i create a new vmbr or linux bridge by default it will be giving a name vmbr1 i will give it a name for example vmbr2 and i will try to bridge this to the same port and try to create it will say that bridge port is already in use with vmbr0 and if i try to bridge this to another linux bridge it will not allow me that if i try to bridge it to the vmbr0 again it will not allow me so there is a way we can do that but right now let us create the virtual bridge for the communication between the virtual machines only or between the containers only there will be some scenarios for example you have created a virtual machine in your proxmox for example there is a database server as a virtual machine and then you have created an application server so you want the communication between these two and you don't want any external communication to take place if these get connected to vmbr0 of course it will uh, be on the same network the network traffic will also increase because all the time it will be sending the packets to the network either for the dns either for the dhcp or whatever you can create another vmbr so this is one vmbr so you can create another vmbr so that with this particular vmbr or virtual bridge these two machines can communicate with each other what we are going to do now we are going to connect these two servers with this vmbr but this vmbr is not connected to any physical network so there is no physical network connected so the communication between them will be private so there is no connectivity outside the network so we will come back here to the proxmox node we are creating this now vmbr bridge port is blank and create now you will see here that this vmbr is created i will simply apply the configuration apply the changes done if i go to now any of these two servers now for example i can go to server one in network of the server one i will connect this to the bridge which is vmbr2 and i will give it a static ip which will be for example 10.20.20.2 and it will not have any gateway because on this network there is no gateway and it will be on slash 24 subnet apply and i will go back again to server 2 so I will change it to VMBR2 and here its IP address will be 10.20.20.3 slash 24 bit and OK. Now these are two servers which are of course configured in this way. These are not communicating outside the network but communication between these both will be possible. So if I go to this server, if I go to the console of this, so if I check IP space A, you will see here its IP address is 10.20.20.3. And if I try to ping 10.20.20.2, which is the IP address of this particular server, so it will give me response. And if I try to ping from here to other server, so IP A, so IP address of this is 10.20.20.2. So other IP address, other server is ping 10.20.20.3. So it will give me response. But if I try to ping of course external network google.com i won't be able to do that the reason is because 
this particular VMBR is not connected anywhere right now. In case you want to connect that, so we can do that also, but I will need to add another network card into Proxmox virtual environment. So here, as I mentioned that there are two virtual bridges created, one virtual bridge, here you can see it is connected to the physical port, but second virtual bridge is not connected to any port right now. So I will be adding a new network interface card. Right now I have a USB network interface card, which I will be connecting to this Proxmox node. And once it is connected, we will configure that. So let us continue to the next video and we will see how we can add the network interface card and then we will see how we will configure that.